Alaska, the airplane is basically our pickup truck. It's our family van. We don't have roads that go to most of the communities here. Aircraft are what get the goods around, get the people around. So aviation is a lifeblood, absolute lifeblood. It really is the, the only way to get around the entire state. So whether it's food or supplies and a lot of times even medical attention, people would die without aviation in Alaska. We know that aviation accidents in Alaska are a large, large number just by the nature of the terrain, the nature of the weather, the nature that there's no place to really just land when the engine quits. There was a study done based on the Bureau of Transportation Statistics about accidents in Alaska. What they found was that pilots, if they had talked to a flight service station, that they were four times less likely to be involved in an accident and eight times less likely to be involved in a fatal accident. As a pilot, <coughs> I want to be talking to these guys that they're going to keep me out of harm's way. And that's what we do. Alaska Flight Service is a, is a great tool for us here as pilots in Alaska. Basically being our eyes and ears uh, to, to tell us what's, what's down the road on our flight plan. Our whole mission is about safety. And it's about getting the correct information to the pilots so that they can make a solid go, no-go decision. As we like to say, service is our middle name. We are flight service stations. We try and make it one-stop shop for a pilot. We have uh, easy communications and we will provide whatever service it is you need at that point in time. I would say about probably 80% of what we do is weather dissemination and dissemination of notums and other adverse conditions that the pilots need to know about. We also do their flight plan filing and we do search and rescue. We try and be the best. We try and, and provide that service in a way that, that nobody else can, can provide it. And we have 17 flight service stations, three hubs and 14 that are located in remote locations. And by having these facilities located remotely, it gives pilots access. They trust this access implicitly because their eyes on the field, where they're operating out of, where they're going to be going to, they know they've got somebody there that they can trust. We know somebody's looking out for us and that if something unfortunate were to happen, uh, they at least have an idea where to start looking for us. Uh, it's a great tool, great resource, uh, a lot of great folks in flight service. I really like doing what I'm doing here because you have that immediate feedback of what impact you have on the lives of everybody in that town or village or passing through. We make a difference every day you go out there. To actually provide a service is, is what I think I enjoy the most of it. To, to hear a pilot say, hey, thank you so much, is really why I came up here. We're up here in Alaska, the pilots really do appreciate us and we really appreciate them. 